Hey folks, it's Saturday the 29th of October and I am on my way to Telford for Ultimate Stance. Um, God knows what time it is, it's not that early. Um, set up runs until about 3 o'clock, I'm hoping to get there about uh, 1 or 2-ish, take a wander around, have a look at some of the cars. We've got a trade stand which I've managed to squeeze into the back of my little Volvo and uh, we'll see how it goes, see what we got, um, see who we bump into, should be a good time. See you in a bit. Well, this is the queue, not much going on, there's something noisy behind me, something noisy in front of me, um, and I'm just sat here waiting to go in. That's what it was like in the olden days, so they haven't got a red flag. I need a red flag, I think. Well, we're back in the venue for the evening. Pretty much everyone's gone out to get food. I've now eaten, which is all good. So this is the uh, ultimate retro hall um, behind me just then making you dizzy uh, was our stand which has a delightful array of merchandise I'll walk you down the uh, cars we got on the retro ride stands we got uh, hardcore or Andy's uh, Opal record which we saw in the tab video the other week we got Ted Nova that's on air that sits nicely um, very clean spent all day polishing that uh, we've got Sean's uh, 240Z, winner of Car of the Year from Retro Rise Gathering, BMW Engine Air Ride. And then we've got Luke's Lotus Elite, which he um, spent absolutely ages um, polishing this afternoon. It's looking ultimately clean, all the accessories. He's got himself a surfboard and he's going skiing and he's riding his bike. So any mode of transport you want and then we've got Dean's legendary Lotus um, looking wonderful as ever so we'll have a wander around see what else we've got that is a 4 litre V8 engine in there um, wide body all of that stuff this is the person that works here and I'm filming her now <laughs> Um, we got an enormous slice of American custom business, which is great to see. Um, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Um, I can tell you, however, it is a 47 coupe of some description, as the Americans would say. Um, this is definitely a VW Beetle in a patina style, patina, patina. Um, super low, really enjoying the wheels. Um, so that's all good. Staple of the retro scene, a little bit of Nova action. Also from our show, Fiat 126. Um, what else we got? Look at this engine. I wish my engine was that clean and probably that operational. Uh, Rally Golf on some extraordinarily polished wheels. These are the tab people, they're here to film stuff. I know we've got some commentary crossover. It's good work. Commentary crossover. Filming people filming. Weird. Uh, this is good times. What are people filming each other? This is Aid. Um, if you've seen a photography thing in a magazine recently, it's probably done by Aid. That's slightly narcissistic. Let's go look at the rest of Because we don't care about the rest of this shit, really. <laughs> and then uh, we've got uh, ooh, Maserati wheels on a Mark 1 Golf. That is a lovely, lovely little addition. Oh look, another golf. Um, looking very nice and polished wheels. This is the car that Aid's taking a picture of. I'm going to walk straight through his photo in a second. That's me walking through his photo. He now has a picture of the back of my head. See, when you're not tall enough to hold a camera up in the air, you have to use a tripod. I can't hold steady for a second. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, we've got some trade stand in here, they're all looking nice. You've got Slam Sanctuary, there's Fitted UK over there. 
look at this Merc, very good. This is Rory440, I think, or 44. Um, I think you can find him on Instagrams. Uh, he's a lovely chap. Bit of Mark III golf action. Is it Mark IV? I can never tell. Somebody could tell me. Tonight? Yeah. Cortina on wire wheels. Interesting. Bit of button power in there as well. Hey, okay, messing around. Custom all the way. Security people are going to throw us out in about 20 minutes. Gently persuaded out. <laughs> Kev EBE, all the way from Belgium, in his. E30, I believe, maybe not, maybe. Or is it another one of a similar colour? Who knows? See, look, California plates, I can never tell. Shorty Mark II, some modern Porsche that go in here somehow. A bit of Civic action, which I'm going to say is an EK Civic, but be completely wrong. Lovely cleaned engine bay. Oh, look at this stuff. Oh, I'm a big fan of this. Big fan of all that. Oh, nice interior on this as well. Those are some stupendously nice seats. Yeah, big fan of this one. Beetle. Behind the Beetle is Jason LaRosa, who is also filming for us today. And uh, this has all the usual touches. But as ever, Nice scene, I'll say all the usual touches. That is some air ride in there. Um, I am going to say it's a 635 CSI, but it may not be. But um, these uh, shuriken wheels, split rims, uh, something else. Lovely clean polo. Range of BMWs in the late 30s rather than the early 30s. This is probably what my engine should look like. It doesn't. Bit of drifty business. Brilliant stuff. Ooh, let's check out this. Not this car. This is far too modern for us. So, tomorrow there's a low riding display outside. Um, I will do my best to get some footage of that but we are in the retro ride Ooh, look at that that's us on my retro display maybe something more will come of that one day Ooh, actually i spotted another thing over here Quick. so there's like loads of like nooks and crannies in the show the venue's got cars everywhere um so this is a hallway between two of the main halls um, and we've got a BMW 2002 and a BBS wheeled uh, Beetle, which I like both of these things. Oh, and this Honda CRV, which is on hydraulics, not that you can tell at the moment. But um, at some point tomorrow, I will attempt to get a picture of that. Uh, all up in the air doing its three wheelie business. So I'm going to have a quick look through the rest of the halls. Um, we haven't actually got all that long. I've come in here right at the end of the day just to make sure it's quiet. So let's see what else we can find and if we can find anyone else. So this is the main hall. Um, it's the biggest of the halls as far as I can tell. Uh, it's got an awful lot of modern stuff in there. There's some really nice retro stuff in here. I mean all the modern stuff really well turned out as well. The players guys have got uh, this really nice Merc with them. E36 BMW which has been wrapped in numerous ways. I'm assuming that's still the same car. Um, they've got some enormous trucks with some enormous wheels. Uh, really liking another super clean E30. The light's not going to do it justice I'm afraid. But um, that's top notch. Uh, what else we got coming through this hall? This pink bit here is to do with the wheel board guys and they've got all sorts of interesting stuff. 
we've got M3, Beamer, oh, I'm surely on Rotiforms, yes, on Air Ride and Rotiforms. Um, nice, uh, Mark III Escort, we've got the Rusty Cat Speed Shop Fiesta, we've got some modern stuff, some more modern stuff, ooh, KPGC10. GTR, very nice. Let's have a little look around this. Wing mirrors, all the correct uh, Watanabe wheels. I think this is the GTR shot one. Um, I may be wrong. Um, and I think it's a genuine one. But uh, don't quote me on that. I'm sure there is a chap on the internet that will tell me whether I'm correct or not. And if you're out there, you can tell me I'm correct or not. Um, nice T4 van in a kind of retro style, liking that one a lot. Honda Acti, which is by Fresh and Minty off the uh, Retro Rides Forum. In fact, it's on the door. There's these two people that are also here late. <laughs> uh, this is a, I'm guess a VW Puma kit car, but I don't think it is. I think it is something else. Um, but I don't know what, but it's low and it's silly, so we like it. It does not have the nicest interior. Oh, gross. Um, there's a boat, obviously, because why not? Um, that'd be a VW floor pan underneath there somewhere, I should imagine. Uh, what else we got? A little Nissan uh, POW. POW! Great stuff. Really cleanly turned out um, Fiesta, but look at these wheels. A little bit of split rim action. Good times. Um, we have a popular Nova saloon, seen this at a few shows, always nice. Look, there's Jason La Rosa again. La Rosa. Um, it's a very low beetle on some chromies. I'm never going to be unhappy about beetles and chromes. Very zeitgeisty Porsche 944. Um, modern Beamer. I say modern, relatively modern movement. Look at this thing! Amazing. Correct selection of stickers. Rolling heavy magazine. Um, really nicely done. Uh, let's quickly go over here. Some suitable slots. Everything going out of focus because there's too much to look at. Um, I just spotted over here. 240Z, so these are the, this is the wheel horse stand. It's got all it's selling, all its merch and all that stuff. Look at this thing. Oh, that's magnificent. That's entirely correct. Is that uh, Gino? Oh, no, it's covered in lights. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Not seen this before. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. I uh, also spotted over here, it's a modern car, but it broke the internet, so we might as well go and look at it, because everyone's going to comment on it tomorrow. Ooh, look who we're being thrown out. May I have your attention, please? The building will be closing in 10 minutes. The building will be closing in 10 minutes. Thank you. So me and this guy here, have definitely got to get out in 10 minutes. What else we got here? Oh, it's all gone a bit modern. All right, I'm gonna go in the next hall. We've got 10 minutes. So this is the third hall. I'll probably come back around these tomorrow, like when the show's going on. This is where the stage is for prizes. I've probably made you dizzy again. Um, prizes are behind me. Um, we've, there's a whole range of cars in here. A lot of um, merch stands have got their displays in here. Um, there's another two halls beyond this. And then a very nice Porsche next to um, the car that it's definitely obviously based on. <laughs> um, oh, look at those wheels. Wide fives of some description. They're immense. Um, oh, these guys came to the gathering, these uh, Mercedes uh, chaps. I really, really like their stand. Um, the, this would be a 1001 SEL. So all the 1001 SELs are custom built. Um, and uh, so this is 1000 SEL, built by Trasco. Um, and they're kind of like direct from the factory um, custom orders. Various custom firms did them. 
Um, so they're, they're super nice, uh, super unusual. Um, and we had three or four of them at the gathering. Um, and it was quite nice to see them all in one place. Um, some low rider guys over here doing their low rider thing. No. Really nice Monte Carlo. Yeah, we've got this 50 pound bet on you, but like... A little bit of Chevy and parlor action. And a big old Chrysler, which I ended up behind on the road on the way here. Superb stuff. Oh, look at these wheels. Very good. Yeah, very nice. Um, let's have a... Oh. Look at that. Sorry if I made you jerk your neck around. Look at the wide steels. Colour painted, colour coded with the um, interior stuff. See, little touches like that, really nice. Just pretty simple to do. Just do it at home. And uh, everything just a little bit colour coded, just makes things nicer. Also, colour coded to the little bit of the engine in there. Good times. Let's see what else we got. I'm going to head up um, the room and see if I can find anything else to look at. There we go, right, that camper van there. Somebody doing a much more professional job of filming than I'm doing. A little caddy, which is, uh, I see a lot of shows. Um, first time I've seen this, with a stunking great turbo on the back of it. That's, that's nice, got some nice little touches. I think I might have seen a picture of that, but uh, I've not seen it in the flesh before. Definitely seen this before. Brilliant stuff. All of the bits in the engine bay. Nice little touch with the um, rear flash for Got the roll hard guys here who we are big fans of. So camper vans with them. Um, and they got really nice uh, Civic, oh and a little bit of VIP Lexus action which somehow gets into our world and then go with all the rabbit bits, USDM, here we go, um, Rotiforms obviously, um, they'll have all their stuff out here tomorrow. Um, this thing uh, followed me in, makes quite a noise, big fan of that. And it's got a walk in it for clearly obvious reasons. And then this relatively well known uh, E30 with the roll hard guys. Um, I may have enough time to get into the other room. Um, let's have a quickly through, it's mainly modern stuff in here. Uh, there's a couple of little bits that I liked. Obviously, the modern stuff is nicely done, but for our retro purposes, need to get a little bit older. So this uh, Jetta looked good to me. And um, there is a Porsche and a camper van over there, which I want to look at. But first of all, I'm going to film this because it is kind of most of what I want. Uh, my little C30 um, to be like, so you can see like they've got the kind of usual suspects, there's a lot of the usual wheels, but everything's really nicely turned out, everything's low as you would expect from something called Stance Works, it's not almost Stance, Stance Works, god, um, we blame them for all of this, um, and then we've got some European travellers over here, look at this boy, Jägermeister inspired. Um, E30, M3 by the looks of it. All of the things that you might want to see on an E30 M3. Um, really clean, good lord. I could, eat, I could have eaten my dinner off that. I hadn't just had my steak. Um, very, very nicely customised uh, camper van. Look at this, this is the sort of level of customisation I'd like to see more in the UK scene. We've got suicide doors, we've got really deep candy paint this interior more of this type of thing please I know it's big projects I know they take their time but you know I, it's nice to see all these cars on air ride and uh, good wheels but really I'd love to see more full house custom stuff and then on the other side really nice to turn out thing. 
model stuff going on over here. I guess there's some RC car racing. And um, let's finish with this graffiti beetle because why not? There we go. Burly graffiti beetle. Again, like it's proper full house custom stuff. We got this solid rear panel. And you know, that, that's not impossible to do, if you see what I mean. Like this is, someone's built this in the UK and it's nice and all, they've got it in the UK at least. I'd love to see some more of that kind of stuff. So there we go. That's me wandering around the show. I'm probably out of focus at this point because I'm pretty much always out of focus. But uh, yeah, we'll have a look tomorrow when it's a bit busier and uh, see what's what. See you in the morning. So there's this guy. Oh, so I was just walking back to uh, where all my stuff is and I spotted this, which is a really nice Merc. Another of those. Fat mugs. These things aren't crazy expensive at the moment. You can still pick these up for reasonable. It's the um, slightly more luxurious version. It's got the curtains. I should imagine somewhere in there are some leather footrests. Look at these wheels. More crazy split rim action. Um, yeah, I'm uh, doing like suitably it's on the pink carpet for the wheels wall stand. But um, yeah, that was quite a nice thing to see on the way back. Well, good morning folks. It is the day of the show. Uh, not much has changed in this hall. We've got a new car behind me here, an E21 BMW. Uh, we'll be doing our trade stand today. Um, I'll see if I can find some time to have a wander around um, when the show is in full swing. Just get some footage. I doubt I'll be able to talk to you too much. Um, see you at the end of the day. Start show. Um, I'm back home, feel a bit more awake than I was by the end of the event. It was a, a long old event, two days worth of uh, work, setting up, hanging out. Hanging out ain't too bad though. Um, so that I'll get my thoughts on the event. Um, after I recorded my end video, I found out that our stand, with three cars on our stand to be more precise, had uh, won awards. That's brilliant. Um, so Dean's Lotus, uh, Luke's. Uh, Elite and Sean's uh, Datsun 240Z all the way with awards, which is absolutely brilliant in the top 20. Um, 
the custom VW van that I took a shine to won um, Best in Show, um, so that's really encouraging for kind of what they're looking for and what they like. Um, yeah, so it, all all around the show was a good event. It's um, it's odd to do um, a static show for for us. We like our things moving more often, but um, of all the ones that I've been to, the ultimate events are the best. Um, Rumour has it we uh, may get involved and do something um, a little bit more with them at some point. So uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I had a, a really good time. It was good to hang out. Is it is it all the uh, the nice things you get about shows is hanging out with friends and uh, um, the cars are brilliant but um, it's good to hang out with some people and, and talk shop uh, so I would recommend it to anyone um, go on along, have a look um, see if you find something you like, I'm sure you will uh, anyway, here's the next show because that's the end of show season so who knows what we'll be doing next see you soon